people have known for a long time violence begets violence, but I don't think people really understood that it is actually a contagious problem. We look at violence as an epidemic. It's a disease, and it's contagious. I got children, so I know I needed to change anyway. Do something different. The streets weren't working. It was a dead end, either jail or death. I choose neither one. We try to stop the retaliation and then dispatch the guys that are on the field so that they can stop anything on the front line. Right, so, Tomas, who's this guy from you see? Stacy. A group of guys came at them and shot at them, hitting Stacy in the finger. And we got him over here in the hospital. Stacy was like, you know, he felt like calling different type of people. And his, his thing was trying to retaliate. He actually got released the same day, but I had enough time with him to detour his way of thinking. How long ago when you got shot? Got shot a couple of times. Uh, first time I got shot at 18, shot in my leg. Then I got shot again at 21. I was going to job court. Met this awesome brother right here. I was just on a rage, a revenge, revenge, revenge. And this good brother right here came to me and taught me how to let go. I feel like if he would never taught me how to let go, I'd still be bloodthirsty. I lived in Inglewood all my life. I used to actually live right here on this block where the site is at. So it's really personal to me when it comes to right here. We hired people who were closely related and closely connected to the street. In my previous life, I was connected to the streets. Now, I could walk up and be like, man, what happened? Man, ooh, such and such did this, and they got into it over this, and it's really about that girl. And so I'm gonna know everything that happened. And then I know how to talk to who I need to talk to to prevent it from escalating further. So the same influence that I had to motivate people to do what it is that I wanted to motivate them to do at that time, maybe now I got that same influence to motivate people to change. I've been in for three months, bro, and it's the best experience of my life, honestly. It's people that's teaching me, it's people that's showing me, it's people that understand me, and it's people in here that's just like me. Since you see them out of it, you know there's a way out of it. Our job is to try to stop shootings and killings on the front end, and we've been successful in doing that sometimes. But how do you get credit for something that never happened? So people don't talk about the stuff that we got in front of and intervene and stop, but every time somebody gets shot, it's like we failed. But how many people did we stop from getting shot? How many gang wars did we prevent that you don't have no knowledge of because it didn't make the front page? Only way we know is if, if people talk to us and let us know what's going on, we prevent them. So we try to stop it before it happens instead of being reactionary.